At Fort Belvoir, Virginia, an experimental flamethrower is being tested. A detail advancing to destroy a pillbox. Riflemen scout ahead to clean out snipers. A double apron fence is encountered. This Bangalore torpedo is being improperly placed. It should be next to the post instead of between two posts as shown here. Properly placed, a larger reduction of barbed wire would be obtained. The portable flamethrower E1R1 is made in two sections, generally called the fuel unit and the flame gun. The fuel unit weighs 20 pounds empty and 49 pounds loaded. The flame gun weighs 8 pounds. The total weight of the loaded unit is 57 pounds. The pressure is supplied by nitrogen gas, which is not readily soluble in oil. The portable flamethrower is capable of firing a flame 25 yards under normal conditions. The operator is extremely vulnerable until he is within 15 or 20 yards of an embrasure. Once he hits the pillbox with his first burst of flame, he is comparatively safe, for the pillbox fills with flame and smoke. A charge of TNT on the end of a stick is placed in front of the gun ports of the pillbox. The duration of the flame is about 20 seconds in one continuous burst. It will last one and a half minutes if operated in short bursts. If the operator shoots a stream of oil before igniting the flow, he can create puddles of flame that will last for some time. Experimental rubber boats are tested at Fort Knox, Kentucky by the 16th engineers. The rubber boats are used here to construct a ferry for a medium tank. The boats can also be used to construct a pont and bridge. compressor is used to inflate the boats. Steel treadways are used. An individual treadway weighs about 2,600 pounds. A crane truck is used to lower the treadways into position. Note the method of connecting the treadways. Observe that to push the bridge out into the stream, the crane truck merely backs up.
medium tank is now driven onto the bridge. The manufacturer's model of a new type of trench digger is tested at Fort Belvoir, Virginia for possible adoption by the Army. Note that the machine cuts a firing step and that a parapet is formed in front of the trench. At the same time, a parados is thrown up in the rear of the trench. The maximum depth of the deep side of the trench is five feet and four inches. The maximum depth of the shallow side is three feet and four inches. The action of the rotating diggers or shovels cannot be reversed. This trench digger is capable of creating any kind of trench as far as change of direction is concerned, except the wavy type. It takes approximately three minutes to give the machine a change of direction. digger has a speed rate of eight feet per minute in loamy soil, which is about the easiest type of soil to remove. The trench digger is driven by an 86 horsepower gasoline engine. The motor is driven at 1200 revolutions per minute. 